what we were trying to do um, to show like a, a wide spectrum of my works, from early works to works I've done really recently. Um, and of course, there's like different dis different aspects to the works, and because that's it's, it's so many different materials, it's so many different forms. Some re refer relate to the body, others refer much more to environment. Um, that I felt like calling it A to Z um, would be an appropriate title. I find we are surrounded by so many things, you know, especially when, you know, I mean, sculpture always refers to the reality of objects, you know, to chairs, to tables, to, you know, when you, if you show a sculpture, it stands in, in reference, you know, in kind of in, in competition also, you know, to, to other objects that we know, that we walk around, you know, you relate to them, you know, your body, your own body takes space away, you know, while you move around. So I always feel it's, um, I can't help but using these things, you know, that I'm uh, surrounded by and that kind of touch me, you know. And there can be elements of clothing, of protection, of, of machinery. Um. What always interested me in, in textiles is that um, that we, first of all, we cover our own bodies with textiles, you know, we, we, we decorate ourselves. We, it's for protection, but it's also decorative, it's fashion, you know. It's, Fashion gives us an identity, you know, we, we, we play around with identities and, and wanting to be people and reinventing ourselves and, um, and but on top of that, on a, on a kind of deeper note is that um, textiles is a very archaic thing, you know, the, the knowledge of and the ability to, to linking, weaving materials together or like the knitting outside, you see the, 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 um, the um they are kind of how they're repairing the, the nets, you know. For me, it's not just something, you know, women do or used to do, you know, textiles, you know, how, you know, in, like in earlier, I think before, you know, people that made use textiles in art, it was always deemed as a, as a, as a women's practice, you know. Um, I think that's a very limited way of looking at it. First of all, with, like with the, with the motorbike, um, which was the, like the first object that I cut, not this particular one, but there was like a previous bike that I made in 2013, which I cut. And um, I kind of relate them to bodies and to like, like a modern horse, basically, you know, when you look at how we sit on a bike, you know, and how we, um, how that kind of the anatomy, uh, our anatomy has informed the shape of this object, like the bicycle, you know, the bicycle frame itself, you know. Has in, our, our bodies has informed this and so I find that very interesting how when you cut through this I mean basically it's an interest in, in to see the insides not just the mechanical um, engineering but mo much more like the, the 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 relation to how it relates to to innards of our own bodies you know the bowels and it is about like a certain precision that they like an a proximity that they take to each other and a certain, not a narrative, a narrative would be strong, too strong a word, but like um, how they are being activated, you know. Often the works are to do with um, vulnerabilities, you know, like vulnerabilities, like a fragility, not, not the fragility, our bodies aren't fragile, but we are vulnerable, you know. If you have a scar, for instance, you know, if you, if you, if you wound yourself, the skin heals, but it, it leaves a trace. And, and so um, the observations of, of what happens to us, to our bodies and, and, and in life and what is, how we relate to this, this is what I find very interesting. So I think somehow, even though some of, not, every, not all objects that I'm making, they directly refer to the body, but I think they always have, they, they always think about how the body relates to them and how they, how they're being experienced by ourselves, by us humans.